Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for August 28th through to September 2nd. Recent solar observations and telemetry indicate a heightened period of seismic activity in the coming days where a seismic correction or significant 8 plus magnitude earthquake is possible during this watch. Now look at the latest telemetry from ACE where we can see fairly minimal changes in solar wind speeds over the last 24 hours and solar wind speeds have remained at levels at around 400 kilometers a second. This may change over the next 24 to 36 hours due to the arrival of a high speed solar wind stream. And this could coincide with a seismic shock and also a geomagnetic disturbance. Solar activities have remained considerably quiet over the last 72 hours and this has been reflected on the GOES X-ray flux monitor. However, we do have three interesting looking sunspot groups on the solar disk at this present time, which could change things quite quickly. And I'm expecting that there may be some significant activities on the solar corona within the next 24 to 36 hours. Now looking at the latest coronal hole information via solon.info and we get to see a fairly powerful looking coronal hole that's situated in the northern hemisphere which is the main focus for this watch. Now this coronal hole is split into two separate regions which could indicate two large 6.5 magnitude events or one large 8 plus event during this watch. Now looking at the SDO composite we do get to see a fair amount of movement within this coronal hole. We see an upliftment of an active region spawning within and also at the top portions and around the edges of this coronal hole a fair amount of movement. Now using the 193 angstrom with solar monitor I have narrowed down this coronal hole into two separate latitude zones. The first zone sits at 28 to 32 degrees north latitude and the second zone sits at 35 to 40 degrees north latitude and I'll map and plot these regions now. My number one area of concern for this watch are the regions of southern Iran, Afghanistan, stretching down towards Pakistan. I do feel one of these regions could be symmetrically mapped to a significant earthquake felt here on Earth during this watch. The South Japan Islands could be at risk for a significant event, and more specifically the region of Benin Islands. And my third area of concern is the Gulf of California. I'm now going to focus on a second region within this coronal hole that could produce a significant earthquake during this watch. And I'm focusing between 35 to 40 degrees north latitude. And the first area of concern, or the main area of focus, would be the Azores Island chain stretching up towards the Straits of Gibraltar. This would be the number one area of concern for the northern hemisphere and the rear portion of this coronal hole. And my second area of concern is the region of Honshu, Japan. We have seen a rapid increase in seismic events and swarm activity in the European bloc. That's an indication that we may be receiving a volcanic eruption to relieve these pressures and the most likely area that could get a form of eruption is the region of Iceland. So we do need to keep a close notice of this as Iceland may step in to relieve some of this pressure. We're now looking at the latest outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that could be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures. And the main areas that we're focusing on are in the northern hemisphere and shaded in darkish green. And I'll run through these regions now. This week we see readings up around the Queen Charlotte Island region. Guam and Mariana Islands are showing up again. A fairly interesting region showing up is the Azores and Portugal. And also a reading underneath Iceland. But the main area of focus seems to be around Japan. We have a fairly large signature here. One of the largest that I've seen on this service. And that will be the main area of focus for this watch. We're now looking at the real-time ionospheric map and we get to see some elevated readings up around the regions of Central America. Now these readings are focused in and around the triple plate junction of Panama stretching up towards Guatemala and into Mexico. This reading has increased over the last few weeks and during the same time frame we've seen a decrease in the reading around the southwest corner of Indonesia. There's also a fairly large signature up around the northern portions of India that are shown on this service but the main areas of focus will be the Central American region. And we're now receiving some elevated signatures in the vertical ionospheric delay, which could be an indicator of a fairly large earthquake in the coming days. Now having a quick look at the southern hemisphere, and there is a small coronal hole formation deep down, which is centered around 48 to 55 degrees south latitude, which may receive an event around 5.5 in magnitude. And the most likely area would be the Macquarie Islands, or the region underneath New Zealand, and the region underneath Australia, in and around this fault line. 
And that's my Volcano and Earthquake watch for August 27, 2011. Annotations will be added during and at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.